John here at LearningGuitarNow.com. In this lesson, uh, I want to show you how to play a Dwayne Allman-inspired key to highway style solo in the key of A. Dwayne Allman is one of my uh, favorite slide guitar players, uh, especially when playing open E tuning. His style is just uh, one of my favorites ever since I started playing slide way back in the early 90s. Um, it's just a great style to learn. lends itself to lots of different styles as well if you just change a few things up. Uh, has a real snaky sound to it. Definitely one of the greatest slide players to ever be, of course. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple of licks for free. And if you would like to gain access to the full lesson, the interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the all access pass. Let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break the solo down for you into seven separate licks. I'm in open E tuning. Uh, this is in the key of A, it's eight bar blues using the uh, A, E in the D chords. Okay, lick one sounds like this. Okay, so for look number one, um, what we're doing is sliding into our fifth fret here on the uh, G sharp string. I'm going to refer to each string as they are in open E tuning, E, B, E, G sharp, B, and high E. So sliding into the fifth fret, that's our major third right here. And our money position, I like to call it in open E tuning, fifth fret, all the way across gives us, gives us an A major chord. And that is pretty much the area we we'll hear uh, Dwayne Allman getting most of his classic Statesboro blues style licks from. So uh, playing in open E tuning, gotta learn how to use that first position like this. And you can pretty much play almost any solo, just almost using just a, a, entirely that one position. You just have to get creative uh, with your phrasing and how you are expressing each note. Big deal with slide guitar. So sliding in the fifth fret. I'm also doing a slight rake there. And I'm adding a little bit of vibrato. Letting that hang, and then I'm doing this uh, phrase. That's a super cool move to do. And the the next chord is the E chord, so I'm ending on that fifth fret right here uh, on the uh, B string. That's also an E note. So it's imperative that you know where your one, four, and five are at in this little area right here. Pretty much three, five. This kind of area right in here, key for open E tuning. For more about learning the notes and how to uh, find all these notes everywhere in open E tuning, check out my open E tuning slide course. So we're gonna play this phrase. It's really easy. You just have to learn how to mute all the strings. That's covered in the uh, slide techniques, my course as well. But it's a really Dwayne Allman inspired lick. And just using that three to five area on, on all the strings, really, you can get some really cool stuff. Sounds kind of snaky, too. Getting that vibrato to sound pretty even right there, critical to making that lick sound good. Uh, the next step, we're going to the four chord, and I'm just sliding that same money position up to the 10th fret. <laughs> And using the same concepts, I'm just taking our money position, moving it up to the 10th fret, and pretty much doing the same kind of stuff. Right here on the 10th fret. And just hitting the B in our E string. Same thing, major third over our D chord. Our root note is right here on the 10th fret of the E string. And this little phrase. I'm also adding a rake to that just to give it a little bit more expressive sound. And then this classic blues move here. So if you don't know much about slide guitar or open E tuning playing at all, that you could use this lick to play lots of different stuff. So I'm just sliding back from 10 to eight quickly. 
now sliding in to the 10th fret of the G sharp string, ending on a root. That note right there is my fourth interval. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it. Just know that that's a critical lick. You gotta know that in open E tuning. So if I play that in D, which is the D chord I'm playing over, I got this. I go to A, you can do the same thing. That would be your, one of your first steps in playing open E tuning, other than the very basics. It's just playing a simple lick like that. Really Dwayne Allman inspired. Uh, and that is just opens up all kind of avenues for playing more stuff. Okay, so that's it for lick one. Okay, well that does it for the lesson. Like I mentioned previously, uh, if you would like the full lesson, tab, backing track, check out All Access Pass. Uh, if you want to learn how to play slide guitar, uh, if you've never played before, um, I have courses that will show you exactly how to do that, getting the raking down, getting the muting down, the vibrato, you know, what to play, where to play in open E tuning, scales and whatnot, how to go about thinking differently when playing slide. Uh, if you're thinking like a regular blues guitar player, you know, normal, just five pentatonic patterns up, that's not really going to work. You got to rechange your thinking when you start playing slide guitar. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.